morning everyone, Dr. Kimball here in Denver, Colorado. I am at the surgery center today and I'm gonna be doing an interesting case, so I thought I'd tell you a little bit about it. This is a little atypical and don't see them very often. Honestly, the treatment for this uh, condition is a little bit controversial. So the syndrome is called Bertolotti syndrome. I'll show you some films and kind of walk you through it. This is a 35 year old woman who presented with chronic left back slash buttock and some leg pain. Gone through a ton of workup, physical therapy, multiple types of injections, and um, as well as multiple workups by a bunch of different spine surgeons, orthopedic and neurosurgical. When I saw her, I was actually thinking that her symptoms were more consistent with a SI joint or sacroiliac joint type of pain and um, that's really kind of what it looked like to me. We did a sacroiliac joint injection that didn't really do much. I then um, studied her films a little bit more on one of the images, actually it was an x-ray, I picked up a little, we call it a pseudo articulation of the L5 transverse process, this is a little bone that comes out to the side at the L5 vertebrae and um, actually connects and articulates with the sacrum that's atypical. And sure enough, she didn't have it on the right side, but only had it on the left side. Uh, my next step was to do a diagnostic injection of that joint. So we did that, injected um, a local anesthetic and some steroid, and she actually got better, which is very, very positive. So I'm gonna show you some pictures of this. Hopefully it makes sense. But you know what, um, it's, it's pretty rare. I'll go through some of the, um, how, how common this is, and also, the surgical interventions that are proposed in the scientific literature. Most of it's just case reports, so not a tremendous amount of data on how people do with this, but um, we're gonna go through the, through this surgery today and I'm gonna walk you through what I'm doing and uh, hopefully it'll make sense. Have a good day. Dr. Kimball here, just got done doing the Bertolotti uh, resection. Everything went really smooth. To be honest, it was a little bit more, um, challenging than I thought it was going to be. The joint was very unpredictable. Uh, it was a lot larger, deeper, and on the other side of the joint is the anterior sacrum or the pelvis. So there's lots of important really blood vessels in that region that would be a big deal if we had an injury. So spent a lot of time getting the whole joint resected. I'll give you a couple pictures and um, some of the, the things that I was thinking about as we did it. So um, yeah, definitely the one thing that I did realize was that this joint, I thought it was gonna be a, a fake joint or just a joint that had developed where two pieces of bone were coming together. But in fact, there was a real um, <coughs> cartilaginous surface there that, that was no doubt real and it wasn't just bone touching bone developing this um, articulation, it was a real joint. So um, that was, interesting to me. I'd never um, fully realized that before. I've only seen one of these done one time before again. So um, anyway, this patient did really well. We did it through a small uh, dime sized incision and uh, the resection actually took about about an hour and a half, which was a little longer than I was thinking, but we took our time and, and got it fully removed and took a lot of x-ray and made sure the joint was totally resected and there's no potential for additional um, you know, rubbing of those two bones on each other. Uh, also, I made sure to uh, cauterize, perform what we call a rhizotomy to the uh, surrounding, you know, nervous uh, bony innervation. That hopefully will also help uh, reduce her pain. Uh, more to come. Thanks so much.